multiplication of polynomials. In multiplying polynomials, you must have the knowledge of these laws of exponents. Let us proceed with the examples. First, find the product of 2x raised to 5 and 3x squared y raised to 4. To multiply this 2, let us start with the numerical coefficient 2 times 3. 2 times 3 will give us positive 6. Then proceed with the variable, so multiplying x raised to 5 and x squared. Since they have the same base, which is x, then we just have to add their exponent. So it will be 5 plus 2, and it will give us 7. So we have x raised to 7. Then our final answer is 6x raised to 7. Another example. Let us find the product of 5m and m squared plus 9. So to write that, we'll have 5m outside and m squared plus 9 inside the parentheses since they are together. To multiply this monomial to a binomial, we have to distribute 5m to each term inside this parentheses. Let us start with 5m times m squared. Since m squared has no numerical coefficient, it means we just have to multiply their variable. So m times m squared. This m, since you do not see the exponent, automatic it is 1. So it's like we are adding 1 plus 2. Therefore, 5m multiplied to m squared will give us 5m raised to 3 or m cubed. So we had 1 plus 2 it became m cubed. Then, then for the other term, let's multiply 5m to 9. Since 9 has no variable, it means we just have to multiply 5 and 9. Then copy the variable m. So 5 times 9 will give us positive 45. Then just copy the variable m. So that's it. That will be our answer. Next example, let us find the product of 3a squared and 2a cubed minus 5a plus ab. So we have 3a squared times 2a cubed minus 5a plus ab. What we have to do here is to multiply this monomial to each term inside this parenthesis. So multiply it to 2a cubed, after that to negative 5a. And then to positive AB. Let's start with the first term of this trinomial. Multiplying 3A squared times 2A cubed, we have to start with their numerical coefficient, 3 and 2. It will give us positive 6. Then for their variables, since they have the same base, then it means we just have to add their exponent. So 2 plus 3 will give us 5. So we have here 6A raised to 5. Then, for the second term of this trinomial, let's multiply it with 3a squared. 3a squared times negative 5a. So, multiply first their numerical coefficient. 3 times negative 5. That will give us negative 15. Then, for their variable, a squared times a, you will have a cubed. Since the exponent of this a is 1. So, it's 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Then for the last term, 3a squared times ab, since it has no numerical coefficient, we'll just copy 3 and let's multiply their variable. So we have a squared here and a again, it means raised to 1, so we'll be adding 2 plus 1. Then variable b, we just have to copy it. So 2 plus 1 will give us 3, so therefore it will become 3a cubed, then just copy b. So this is the final answer. Let us have more examples. Find the product of 4x plus 5 and 3x minus 7. As you can see, the polynomials we have here are both binomial. So when you multiply binomials, it will be like this. And the method that we are going to use in multiplying them will be the FOIL method. So what does FOIL method mean? F means first terms, O for outer terms, I for inner terms, and L for last terms. So for F, 
we have to start with the first terms. It means that is the first term of each binomial. So for the first binomial, the first term is 4x. And for the second binomial, the first term is 3x. So we have to multiply them first. 4 times 3 will give us 12. And then x times x will give us x squared since they are both raised to 1. Then after that, after multiplying the first terms, we will proceed with O, which means the outer terms. So the outer terms of these two binomials are 4x and negative 7. 4 times negative 7 will give us negative 28, and then just copy the variable x. After O, let's proceed with I. It means inner terms. Let us multiply the inner part of this two binomial. So we have 5 times 3x. 5 times 3 will give us 15 and just copy the variable x. Then for the last letter, L, which means last terms. So we will multiply the last term of this binomial. 5 times negative 7. 5 times negative 7 will give us negative 35. But we are not yet done. Observe this polynomial. We can still combine some of these terms, which we call the like terms. So as you can see, negative 28x and positive 15x, they have the same variable. And therefore, we may combine them. 12x squared and negative 35, since they do not have like terms, we may just bring down these two terms and combine these two. Negative 28x plus 15x, they have different signs, so you have to subtract and copy the sign from the larger number. The answer will be negative 13. Then bring down x. So the final answer is 12x squared minus 13x minus 35. But what if we have to find the product of 2x plus 5, that is a binomial, and x cubed plus 6x squared minus 3x plus 8, that is a multinomial. So how are we going to multiply them? To do that, we will start with the first term and multiply this to each term of this multinomial. Then after that, we will proceed to the second term, which is the positive 5, and multiply this again to each term of this multinomial. So let's start with the first term, 2x. Multiply 2x and x cubed. So to multiply them, you just have to bring down or copy the, the numerical coefficient, then multiply their variable. So we have x times x cubed. It will give us 2x raised to 4, since the exponent of this x is positive 1. So we just added 1 and 3. We got 4. Then next, 2x times 6x squared. Just multiply first their numerical coefficient. 2 times 6 will give us 12. Then after that, multiply their variable. x and x squared will give us x cubed since we will add 1 and 2. The next, 2x times negative 3x, we have to multiply 2 and negative 3, it will give us negative 6, and x times x will give us x squared. Then, next is 2x times positive 8. So, 2 times 8 will give us 16, just copy the variable x, so positive 16x. Since we're done with 2x, let's proceed with the second term, 5, and multiply this to each term of this multinomial. Let's start with 5 times x cubed. 5 times x cubed will have positive 5x cubed. Then, 5 times 6x squared, multiply 5 and 6, will have positive 30, and just copy the variable x squared. And then, 5 times negative 3x, 5 times negative 3 will give us negative 15, then just copy the variable x, so negative 15x. And for their last terms, 5 times positive 8, both are positive, so your answer will just be positive. 5 times 8 will give us positive 40. But we are not yet done. Observe, we can actually simplify this polynomial by combining their like terms. So let's start with the first term, 2x raised to 4. Does it have like term? 
none. So therefore, we may just bring down 2x raised to 4. Then proceed with the next term, 12x cubed. We can actually combine it with positive 5x cubed since both of them have the variable x cubed. 12 plus 5 will give us 17. Copy the variable x cubed. And then negative 6x squared, combine it with positive 30x squared, negative 6 plus 30. They have different signs, so you have to subtract. You will have positive 24. Then copy the variable x squared. Then after that, positive 16x, combine it with negative 15x, since both have the variable x. 16 plus negative 15, you will actually get positive 1. Then just copy the variable x. But we will only write positive x, since if the numerical coefficient of a variable is 1, we do not have to write that. So we'll have here positive x. And for the last term, positive 40, it doesn't have like term. Therefore, we will just bring down positive 40. So the answer is 2x raised to 4 plus 17x cubed plus 24x squared plus x plus 40.